1967 world champions here tonight at the ballpark. None greater than number 45, Bob Gibson, the Hall of Famer. Always good to see you. Thank you. It's always good to come back and see you guys. I, I really like coming back to St. Louis. I know you were so excited to come in the uh, booth and visit with us, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, you uh, and Tim were, I, I listen to you guys every night at Here home. Here we go. Second and I guess hear, everything we I, say. No, I don't really <laughs> second guess. Go ahead. I, uh, I first guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we talk, Before you say, you don't talk. say that. Don't say that. I, I want to pick up the phone and call you, but I don't know the number up here in the booth. Well, you texted me, though. Yeah, I did yeah. do that a couple of times. Uh -huh. The numbers on Bob Gibson, 17 seasons, all with the Cardinals. The Cy Young Award winner, all-star, gold glover. Hits home runs in 1967. Games 1, 4, and 7, you go the distance. What comes to mind when you think of that great team? Well, the, most of all, the, this ball club was a team that didn't really beat themselves a lot. You know, we every once in a while we make a few mistakes, but physical mistakes you're going to make. We didn't make a lot of mental mistakes, and I think when you have a ball club that makes very few of those mental mistakes, you're you're going to win. Tim was saying that this was the most competitive team he was ever a part of, individually and collectively. No they doubt. Agree. That too. That too. And uh, a very good example of that. If, uh, if you, we couldn't win the uh, the ball game, we probably would win the fight. <laughs> <laughs> would you lead the charge in that, Bob? No, no, no. Actually, I was very docile. Oh, who are you kidding? Yeah. Right. Look at Tim over there seeing Yeah, right. No, right. <laughs> Don Nottabart of Cincinnati hit Lou Brock in the leg because Lou tried to steal with the score seven to nothing in the first inning, which is. Legit. Well, Bob was pitching that night and knocked down Tony Perez. Tony went to first, came back, stopped in front. There's a double play ball. For That's, nice. Three. That's nice. And Tony and Bob had words, and I'm telling you, it was the worst. But depending on your on on which side or how you look at fights, it was the worst or the best fight out by far. That I was ever in. Oh, yeah. It happened to Bush too. I don't even know why it started because Tony stopped and he said something to me. And I suppose he was speaking English, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't understand him, and so I, I asked him to come back and explain it to me. <laughs> That's great. And did he come back? He came back, and I'm, I don't think he was happy about the results, but he but, did. He but, did come but, back. But the thing was, Bob was with Tommy Helms and Pete Rose in, the, in their dugout. And Bob said it was so funny because he was in the middle and Rose would hit him and hit hit Helms and Rose would hit him and hit hit Helms. <laughs> so it was kind of a one thing followed the other, right? <laughs> Bob Gibson is with us, so is Tim McCarver. Two of the all-time greats in Cardinals history. We're back.